Norfolk man is accused of setting his own house on fire. Donald William Stricker III is charged with arson. Now, according to neighbors, he lived at the home with his wife and the three children. Robert Boyd has the story from Birmingham Avenue. Well, I spoke with neighbors who live around here, and they say that the family that lived in this home uh, seemed perfectly normal. They were very happy and nice, and these neighbors just don't understand why the man would intentionally burn down the home, leaving his wife and three children with nowhere to live. I would say it had to be a propane tank for something to shake the neighborhood like it did. About knocked me off the chair in the house. This is video of the fire taken by a witness and posted on Facebook. People living on Birmingham Avenue are still trying to figure out what caused the explosion to take place on the second floor Monday afternoon. What he was doing up in that bedroom, who knows, you know, I don't know. Donald William Stricker III has been arrested and charged with arson. This is video taken by a witness and posted on Facebook of Stricker being handcuffed on scene. According to neighbors, he lived in the house with his wife and three children. They were not home at the time of the fire. Any idea why he would burn his own house down? Having a clue. Not at all. Neighbor Robert Myers saw Stricker walking out of the house moments after hearing the explosion. He went across the street where the fire department all came, some investigators talking to him. Next day, I know they got him in handcuffs. And they want to say why. Myers says Stricker is a nice guy, retired from the Navy, who was working at Kroger while also going back to school. Him and his wife, they're not very talkative or anything. You know, you say, hi, how you doing? And hey, go say hi to the kid, you know? Yeah. Other than that, no, there's no one neighbors. Neighbors are just thankful that the wife and children were not inside the house. They are currently staying with family in the Hampton Roads area. They definitely had their angels watching over them and that they're safe now. And that is a positive part of the whole situation is to know that the people's lives were spared. The exact cause of the fire and motive are still under investigation. In Norfolk, Robert Boyd, 13 News Now.